Now, this thing with the Tour de France, um, where the person is holding a sign, and listen, I don't know the exact numbers. Let's say there are 150 cyclists in the event. Mm -hmm. There are about 20 of them left after what happened. Take a look at this. Go ahead and play this for us, Alex. Look at this. Watch on the left side. The guy's got the sign. He's not looking at the at the crew. Um, I think the it's peloton. a peloton. Well, guy, girl, whatever. Yeah. The cyclist hits the sign, and the whole peloton. I don't know if I have mentioned this to you guys or not, but I actually own a peloton. What? Wow. Is In there, Florida are, or here? Are there, are there spectators? Watch this though. The, the 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 Peloton is the group of cyclists, right? They're all Oh, is that what that means? You didn't know that? No, I thought Peloton was a brand of a stationary bicycle. Well, yeah, that's what it is, but that they created it off the word Peloton. Oh, cool. But go back to the video a second. This person is looking like towards the camera as the Peloton, all the riders are coming at him or her. The sign is in the field of play. You know, this is the one thing about this sport. They try and love the fact that the spectators are on top of it, but how frequently do you see a person running alongside of a cyclist or getting in the way? This guy, this rider, hits the sign, and dude, I mean, I could watch it a hundred times. The, yeah. the the way guys run each other over and and the carnage and the bikes and the bodies that are all left on the streets, because one idiot has to get him or herself in the middle of the event. Can can I? Is your hit list? <laughs> look, man. If I like yeah. warming up. Uh, look, this guy's soft, bro. This guy's soft. That's a cardboard sign. That's a cardboard sign. You're going, what, 10, 12 miles an hour? Plow through, bro. Plow through. That, well, that little lady and her sign, you barely hit the sign. You clipped the edge of the sign, and that took your whole bike down, bro. You weren't going to win no way. Look at this. Come on, bro. Grip the ball, grip the handlebars, man. What's, what's going on with these cyclists, bro? That's Scott, a I know you're going to hate me, dude, but I got to agree with Browner. He did like get all loosey-goosey with that grip on the bicycle, just and he just weak. like wobbled. That Come on, weird. bro. Come on, Scott. You can't defend this man. You cycle around. You didn't hit a tree branch before. The wind didn't blew a little hard on you on your on your, on your handlebars. You ain't go down like this, did you? Well, first of all, they ain't doing ten or twelve miles an hour. Yeah, they're going fast. They're doing like probably twenty five or thirty miles an hour. Okay. Listen, your man's your man's got stung on the PP by a B. He ain't go down. This guy barely hit a cardboard. A little piece of cardboard down. Take everybody with him. It is true. I do have a friend who was stung on the PP by a B in a race and he continued on. It's true. I do. Well, he hit her arm. He hit her arm. Stop it. Stop it. He hit the cardboard. Stop All right. It. No, he, let, he hit her arm. He let's go back. To, let's go back to the, the, the front shot here. Okay. So here's this guy on the right side of, or yeah. And yeah, he hit her arm. I mean, or his arm, but regardless, look, it, it, why are spectators allowed to be that close? 